Hi friends, welcome to High Technology TV. In this video, I will show you how to install SAP HANA Platform Medicine on Suja Linux. Earlier, we have seen how to install SAP HANA Express Edition on Suja Linux. Okay, this is my Windows machine, and this is Putty. And from Putty, I am accessing my SAP HANA OS machine that is Suja Linux. Okay, I have already logged in through root. Okay, now I am going to the directory where I have placed my SAP HANA platform in edition installer. Okay. Here, as you can see, that we have a directory with name 51052325. This one. This is the directory where I have placed my installer. Okay, go to that. In this directory, we have a folder name with data units, and on that we have a folder with name hdb underscore server underscore linux underscore x86 underscore 64 okay enter and now we have to list down okay here as you can see that we have a, a file name with hdblcm so we have to execute this this will install sap hana platform edition on this os machine with command line okay we have to use it like this okay and now hit enter it will give us three options one is install a new system second one is extract components and third one is exit okay i am choosing here uh, install install a new system press one and hit enter now it will ask us about uh, that we are going to install only SAP, uh, SAP HANA server or client or studio or smart DA XX and all that so here I am just installing SAP HANA server so I am choosing 2 and hit enter now it is asking us about the installation path I am keeping it default ok now it is asking us about the local host name so our machine host name is hana i'm keeping it default no here it is asking about that we want to add host to the system no as this is a single host system here it is asking sap hana system id so i am using its hdb and hit enter I am keeping instance number default that is 00. I am keeping it default that is local host worker group. Okay, now it is asking us about the uses of the system which we are going to install. So, definitely it is not a production system or neither a development or nor a custom. So, it is a test environment. So, I am choosing two. Okay, now it is asking us about the data volume for our database that is slash sana slash data slash sdb. Okay, not an issue. I am keeping it default for the log volumes also. Now, here it is asking about the restrict maximum mem memory allocation. I am providing no. It is enter certificate host name for host hana i am keeping a default at enter sap host agent user sap atm password again we have to confirm now it is asking us sdb atm password
now it will ask us about the system administrator home directory this is the by default i'm keeping a default and now it is asking system administrator login cell that is fine now it is asking us the id of user group sapcs that is 79 i'm keeping a default now it is asking us about the system database user password okay now it is asking us about the restart system after machine reboot now okay this is the summary of our installation that this is our installation path this is our sap hana system id this is instance number this is data volume path this is log volume path and this is system administrator home directory this is system administrator login cell this is system administrator user id and all that so right now it is asking us about do you want to continue definitely yes and hit enter it will start installing component and uh, preparing the packages thing and all that and start installing packages so it will take a while so meanwhile friend i am fast forwarding the video here we'll get back to you once our installation is done So welcome back friends as you can see that uh, sap hana database system has been successfully installed and we do not get any kind of error during the installation so on next video i will guide you how to connect through sap hana database through a sap hana studio actually i have uh, already discussed this that how to install sap hana studio how to connect sap hana database from sap hana studio so you can use these videos okay friends thank you thank you for watching please do subscribe to my channel